um, moved here in 91, and then the riots happened in 92. <laughs> like, we moved straight into that shit. Because you were right in Koreatown. Yeah, exactly. And before that, we were on, like, Crenshaw, and then we moved to Western, like, right off Western, which is... Right in the middle the, of it. Yeah, yeah, where all the shit was burning. So, like, it was... It was interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so how long did you, like, what was it like growing up in that area for you? Um, well, I had a lot of, like, multicultural friends. Like, I had a lot of Mexican friends, a lot of black okay. friends. And then, and then as you get older, you, like, start to click up with your own, with people that look like you. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I had a lot of Korean friends. Like more into middle and in high school. Okay. And then um but it was like it, it was to me I just didn't understand like why we couldn't and and you know, when that when that happened, when the riots happened, it was like there was a clear division. <laughs> like you can't you can't hang Y'all out with these people. Here. You can't hang out with these people. But I was like, why? Why not? Because like yeah. all throughout school and in like the neighborhoods I grew up in, it was Mexican, black, Korean. And all mixed. It was all mixed. And like I feel very blessed to have grow, grown up in that because like anytime I go outside of L.A. or like to the Midwest or like. It, it, it baffles me like when people look at me different and I'm like, oh yeah, I am different. Yeah, you know what like, I mean? We never even seen some Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, like we sure. did I did a I did a um I did a road trip from D C to LA mm-hmm. with my brother and my wife because he was moving back home and then like we drove through West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana. Yeah, like you saw all of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah it was it was wild i mean it wasn't as bad as i thought because we were just driving and then like we yeah. occasionally we stop like get gas like or or eat at a little uh, that's where diner. it gets scary though yeah, those little yeah. diners uh-huh. <laughs> those little mid-country but, diners. right right <laughs> so i definitely remember just getting you know stared at but i didn't think of a big deal I, and i know like you know if you grow up in that environment your whole life that's yeah. all you know yeah so like I love to travel just because, like, it it opens your eyes to a different perspectives and, like, how other people around the world live. And, and then you come back home and you can, like, apply that. And yeah. Be, you, you know what I mean? a whole new perspective, mm-hmm. how you approach stuff, how yeah, you deal yeah. with people. 